Almost half of the Jewish refugees from Germany and other European countries in the first days of the Nazi terror found in Palestine refuge and hope. The humanitarian work of James MacDonald, unearthed from recently discovered diaries that filled more than 10,000 pages, shed new light on what America and the world knew about the Holocaust. Not only do we have a hero of the Holocaust, but nobody knew about him. He had been lost to history. MacDonald was able to get a private meeting with Hitler. Hitler tells MacDonald that he will show them how to get rid of the Jews. That's what he said to Roosevelt and Jewish leaders. So long as Hitler was in power, uh, there was no life for the Jews. The, the fact that MacDonald was a Catholic, I don't think made him, uh, the, the Vatican uh, any more receptive to his viewpoint. Here was what my father had forecast all this time. Uh, and here it was, uh, the war had started. He was one of Roosevelt's loyal backers who was speaking truth to power. McDonald's ambassadorship was absolutely crucial because the relationship between the United States and Israel was not an automatic relationship. It had to be built. McDonald actually helped to save um, many thousands of lives. And we're fortunate to be joined by filmmaker Shuli Eschel. She's the producer of A Voice Among the Silent. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate Thank it. You. Now, this must have been a tremendous story to tell. How did you get interested in it? Well, I was invited to a lecture about James McDonald and in Chicago at Temple Sholom. And I went because I was intrigued when reading the postcard, I realized that James McDonald saved many Jews before and during the Holocaust and ultimately became the first US ambassador to Israel. So I went and I spoke to the archivist from the US Holocaust Museum and asked him if anybody had told the story besides the volumes that were published by Indiana University Press about his diaries that were, by the way, discovered in 2003. Uh, up until then, he was like a footnote to history. And then when I heard about the story of how his diaries were discovered, I thought, I must make this film. Did it surprise you that the story had sort of remained untold? It surprised me very much, and that's exactly why I decided, especially as an Israeli filmmaker based in Chicago, to tell the story. What do you think people are going to find interesting about this documentary and all the work that you've put into it? I think the interesting thing is that James G. McDonald was born in Ohio, raised in Albany, Indiana, and graduated from Indiana University and became the head of the Foreign Policy Association in New York in 1918. And from that moment onwards, he, he met with Hitler in 1933 and in a face-to-face -face meeting with Hitler, and Hitler told him his plans for the Jews, and he said, I'm going to show the world. I know the world wants to get rid of the Jews. They don't know how to get rid of the Jews. I will show them. And I think from that moment onwards, the whole life of James McDonald changed, and he uh, saw it as a calling to alert the leaders of the free world he met with Roosevelt, uh, President Roosevelt, several times. He met with Pope Pius XII. He met with leaders from the free world and warned them about the looming tragedy that he heard in person from Adolf Hitler. Shuli, what was it like to research James's life? Well, first of all, I had to read the two volumes, Advocate for the Doomed and, Re and Refugees and Rescue, and his autobiographical my uh, mission in Israel. So I read that and what, came, what was the most astounding factor in the research that I found is that as early as 1933, McDonald was the person who alerted and warned world leaders, especially President Roosevelt since he was an American, and became, he became the League of Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and did everything he could to try to save the Jews of Europe. And I could not believe that America 
and the uh, Roosevelt administration didn't do anything to try to save the Jews of Europe. And it just baffled me. And that really was one of the driving force of telling the truth about what happened. Why do you think people weren't really hearing him? I think people were indifferent. People were anti-Semitic. Uh, there were lots of other problems, the depression and so forth in the United States. And obviously, Hitler uh, signed a concordat with the Germans and, uh, and, and with Italy, with the Pope. And, and so I think the whole world was not ganging up, it seems, against the Jews. And uh, it came as a surprise that a man like James McDonald, a Catholic, uh, from a little town in Indiana, was the one who really kept those diaries and met with all these leaders around the world trying to save the Jews of Europe. And he would have done it for any people. It just happens to be the Jews. Yeah, uh, Shuley, this is such a fascinating story. Thank you for telling it. And we, we can't wait to watch the documentary. Be sure to tune in on Thursday, April 16th at 10 p.m. right here on WTIU to watch this incredible documentary. And of course, Thank for you. more information about the film, visit avoiceamongthesilent.com.